So you've played a lot or voiced a lot of iconic characters, but certainly I think Batgirl is one of the most iconic characters. When you originally got that script all those years ago, what first appealed to you about her? Oh my gosh, well I was a fan of the comics and the toys as a kid, so to even have the opportunity to audition was terrifying and exciting, and the room was full of A-list celebrities, A-list voice talent. Uh, it was very daunting, and I just did my own voice. It's the only show I do that it's my own voice. And um, they liked it, and it worked, and my agent called and said, oh my god, you're her, you're the girls at the bat, you're bad girl, and I like freaked out, and pretty much every day I pinched myself. I mean, I know the levity of this character and its origins and how much people love the DC universe, so I feel quite honored to be a part of it. So now you're not only going to have the old fans who know this show, but it's, I think this is going to bring this to a whole group of new fans. So what is exciting about that for you? Well, it's twofold. I love the digital remaster and the colors. It's so beautiful. At the panel, they showed us side by side. And it was always a beautiful show, but to see it redone, you go, wow, it's kind of mind blowing. And I think that if you were a kid during that time, you'll be nostalgic and go through and watch it again. Of course. And if you have kids, you'll watch it with them. And hopefully they'll want to pick up 100 more seasons. <laughs> fantastic. A whole new generation. That would be yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Fan thank you for talking with us. We're excited for this. <laughs> so you have been voicing this character for 27 years, which is Crazy. really unheard of Crazy. in yeah, acting world. Yes. Yeah, is. How has Batman evolved over that time for you? The challenge has been to keep him consistent and to keep him fresh. Um, he hasn't really changed. Um, he may have gotten darker. Um, as I've explored the depths of his despair, you know. But the challenge for me has been to keep him authentic to the original character and not let it get stale. Um, and that's difficult. Absolutely. Do you like him a little bit darker? Do you like playing him darker? Yes, I do, actually. I think that's what makes him so much fun. He's a guy with issues, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's got lots of issues. Who doesn't have Everyone. Issues. But everyone does. That's why people love him so much. That's why the audience relates to him. He's got no superpowers. He's just a really screwed up guy with issues. And he, 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 he compensates for that by becoming Batman, by becoming this force for good, you know, which is great. Um, I read somewhere that you kind of took the duality or the, the, the different voices for between Bruce Wayne and Batman from the Scarlet Pimpernel, 19, oh, yeah, 1934. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me a little bit about that. Where, where did it come from? I just love that performance. Uh, Leslie Howard, it's, it's an obscure film. And when, um, I, I was exp when, I, when I was getting cast for this role and Bruce Tim was explaining to me, uh, the character, because I didn't have a lot of background in Batman. I didn't really know a lot about it. And I said, wait a minute, you mean he's the richest, most powerful guy in Gotham, most eligible bachelor, everyone knows who it is, and he puts on a little mask and no one knows who it is? I said, seriously? I said, can we play with it a little bit more? Like have him... Superman with the glasses. Yeah, really. I said, come on, can I do a little more convincing transition? And Bruce said, yeah, let's play with that. And my mind just went to that uh, Scarlet Pimpernel, where... His real identity is the hero at night, and the assumed identity is the court fool during the day. So I thought, wouldn't that be cool if the assumed identity was Bruce Wayne, was the businessman. He puts on the suit, like we all put on a suit for the world, we put on a face for the world, but when he goes home and takes off that suit, it's Batman. I mean, that's who he really is, and that way, the Batman voice and the Batman persona doesn't become a performance. It's who he naturally is. So you just kind of settle into that voice down there. And it makes it very authentic. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. I, I love Rather that. than making it be a put on sound. You know what I mean? What are you excited for fans now that this is coming out on Blu-ray well, and upgraded you know, well, video Well, when people audio. see the difference in the visual, it's, it's extraordinary. The colors are so much richer. Um, it's just a beautiful experience. And to have it all together on one collected edition with Sub-Zero, with Phantasm, and there's like a 90-minute B-roll of uh, interviews with the cast and the creators. And yeah, it's a really wonderful B-roll that's included in this. Fantastic. We can't wait for it. Thank Great. you so much for talking with us. So let's talk about Banimated, the complete animated series. Okay. It is ranked by TV Guide as the seventh greatest cartoon of all time. That's incredible. 
I hope I hope that's uh, more than out of ten. <laughs> but uh, no, that's I had no idea, and that's incredible. That's just incredible. And this was your first time producing. So what did you learn, and what did you take forward with you? Um, we we won't have enough time in this interview <laughs> for me to say what I learned. But literally, it was the launch of my career. I I had been a production artist up until we got to work on the show. So the five years that it took to produce all the series, uh, eighty five episodes, and uh, Mask of the Phantasm, it literally was my homework and my schooling because I didn't have any formal training. So I, I learned everything I know today uh, based on working on that series. So I, I owe my entire career to Batman Animated. That's pretty impressive then. Um, what improvements can fans see on the upgraded audio and video? Uh, it's mostly in the visual quality. You're, you're looking at um, uh, something that benefited from 25 years of digital technology. So for, for myself personally, it's it's a little difficult because I can only see my flaws from the series enhanced. But uh, for, for the viewing audience, I think they're just gonna see a better quality, richer color, better sound, you know, all, all of the things that we enjoy with all of our entertainment these days. Now Batman benefits from that uh, 25 years later, so. Well, we're very excited for it. So thank you for talking with us today. Thank you so much. Women power, we got it. That's right. So we're talking about Batman the Animated Series coming out on Blu-ray, and you po you played Poison Ivy. So tell me, you come from a theater background yes. and started in the animation. What What's different for it? What do you like about doing animation? I love, actually. I love doing animation. First of all, it doesn't matter how I look. <laughs> if I put on seven pounds or have a pimple, it doesn't matter. And I love that part. The other Go in your pajamas. Is, yeah, exactly. You could. The other is it, it doesn't take all day. It doesn't take, it takes whatever, a half hour, an hour, whatever the session lasts, and that's all it takes. And I was raising two young children, and it was really a wonderful thing. You know, absolutely. What do you, what are you most excited for fans to see about the animated series? New fans, for example, but also the old fans who grew well, up with it. Not only did we grow up with it, I think we're doing three generations now. Wow. I mean, I swear, when you think about little girls who were, you know, five years old twenty five years ago, yeah. and then they have children. Maybe their kids have kids, and that's who I meet at the cons when I come. Um, they come up to me and say, "You were my childhood." <laughs> we all we all hear that one, and then. Some of them with tears saying, you affected me so deeply. She was such a strong woman. We hadn't seen a strong woman like her. You know, and it's like, wow, that's amazing. You know, that I had, I, well, not I, but the writers and whatever, had such a fabulous, important influence on people. I love it. But you too, because you gave her the voice. I, I mean, did. they wrote the words, but you really gave her oh, the voice. Oh, I don't take away from the, my contribution. I was just so glad to be given the chance. And also, I love doing my work. I love it. And if you're happy in your work, what else do you need? Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Fantastic. We are super excited for it to come out on Blu-ray. Thank you for speaking with Thank us. Thank you so much. So nice to meet you. Woman power. Yes, yes. woman power. That's us. <laughs> so we're talking about Batman the Animated Series now coming out on Blu-ray. Now coming out on Blu-ray. Um, talk about Robin and how this character kind of changed your life a little bit, changed you professionally and personally. Well, um, when you're an actor, you you get the opportunity to do a lot of things, uh, if you're lucky. I've been very lucky. But a lot of the things I've done, people say, oh, I saw you on such and such show, I really enjoyed that, that was funny, or I saw a rerun of something, I've seen that a few times, I like... It, it's always like, I enjoyed seeing the show. This, people are like, oh my God, this changed my life. And you know, when people talk like that, that's rare for an actor. So that really has profoundly changed me because I know in my association with the show, it goes beyond just, oh, you're a good actor, we enjoyed your performance. It was, you really meant something to me and my life. And you're still meaning something to people because again, this is coming out, so fans are gonna wanna buy this, but it's also gonna create a whole new group of fans. How do you feel about that? Well, I know we already have a whole new group of fans because our original fans all have kids now. <laughs> a lot of them do. And so uh, that's two generations of fans, but you're right, I think, I think if they saw the old show, they would have fallen in love with it, but this is a reason now to watch the show and fall in love with it. Another reason. 
So talk to me a little bit about the fans and what they can expect from the upgrades in terms of video and audio quality. It is so beautiful. I mean, I, I, when I used to watch it on videotape, yes. <laughs> VHS? I, I used to tape it on VHS and watch it. Um, we just aged ourselves. I know, around. exactly. And I would take off my pager in order to get to the... <laughs> but but uh, they, when you see it now, it just blows your mind. The clarity, the color, uh, and the music is just... Well, and all of that I thought was great when I originally saw it, and now it just it blows my mind. And I've seen these shows already. I've seen all of them, and now seeing them like this blows my mind. Thank you so much. We're so looking forward to it. Thank you, Alice. Nice talking with you. Ooh! Nice talking with you. We got it. We got it. <laughs>